In today's video, I'm going to discuss about the if statement, if else statement, if else if statement in this particular video. I will try as much as my possible best to cover these three statements, uh, these uh, if statement function in Arduino. So, looking at this, our, our code here in our IDE. Let me just explain it. This is a, I just declared a variable. So I gave it an, a name, 10. Then I store this number, 10, 20, 30. Then we start the serial port so that we can be able to view, view it in a, in a serial monitor. And you know, we are using Proteus. So this will help us to, you know, see the, the results on the Proteus software. So under this loop, I'm using an if statement. This is the if statement. So this is how if statement looks like. And another thing I want to point out is uh, is the curly braces. Remember I told you what curly braces is all about. A curly braces is what define a body of a code. So whenever you have curly braces, it defines a group of code. If you look at this place, you will see that this void void loop has opening and closing curly braces. If you see when I highlight it, you will see the Arduino ID we identify the closing bracket to show you that every code under any code you are writing under this void loop, these curly braces we identify it as a group of code that is under this loop. So, but that is not the main topic here, but I just want to point it out. So, like this if statement has its own syntax. So, its own syntax is that you must you must also put the curly braces to show the body of the of the if statement. So, this opening of curly braces and this one signifies the body of this if statement. See, it's this one that I highlighted. So it signifies the body a group of a uh, code so this curly braces signifies a group of code so under this curly braces is where you put your code then in this bracket is where you put your condition i say that if statement is a conditional statement whereby you give the compiler a condition which it has to obey to execute a particular line of code so this is the condition under this bracket so what I did here is that I declared a variable 10, 20 under, uh, under here. So this is a global variable. So because I want to use it within the void loop or anywhere. So what I did is that in order for you to understand this if statement, what I did is that I said the condition that I gave to this, this line of code is that I said to, the, I said to this if statement, if a this a means 10 just like the way i explain it so b means 20 i said if a is less than b you should execute this code inside this curly braces right so the way if statement works is that whenever the condition is true it will execute the the code inside the curly braces but if the condition here is false, it will skip it and go over to another line of code. So you can only get the, the result you want if the condition is true. So let me show you the example. I say if A, which is true, that 10 is less than 20. So I say that if A is less than 20, print this. So that is for the for the if statement. So when we go when i when i start to explain the if a statement i will show you the difference between if a statement but now we are talking about if statement so let's go to i've done i'm, I'm done compiling this and so let's go to our arduino uh, let's go to our simulators so let's simulate it and see what the arduino will print out for us all right let me go you can see it so it is printing through because 
10 is less than 20 that's why it's printing through in this uh in this monitor so you can see it is printing through so that is all about if statement then let me show you the if s statement let me show you the if s statement let's go back to our Arduino IDE <coughs> so what the the work of if s statement is that if the condition that we gave to this if the condition that we gave here is false what will happen is that the compiler will go to the s statement so let me show you how to write it so after writing the this closing the the using the curly braces to close this if statement then i'll go to and type else you will see that the color have changed see this is the else statement then i use the curly braces also to identify the identify the body of it so inside it i will say if this is the condition so what i want to show you is that if this condition is false let it print false so i will i will also change let me copy this and I'll show you something so under this uh, statement i will paste it then i'll write it false Wait, wait a minute then so I'll write it false this is false then another thing you should mind this quote here whenever you are using this quote that means you want to print the character if you remove this quote this quote that I highlighted here that means this compiler will see it as another thing. So whenever you want to print a string, a, a group of character, you use this code. So the compiler will print it. If not, you won't get this this uh, this thing here. So let, let me show you what the, what is the difference between this uh, if statement and if else statement. Remember, I've explained the if statement. Now the the second one that we are talking about is the if else statement. So the if, this if this s statement can only be executed when this condition here is false so let me say for example let me say if a is greater than b which we know is false so what the what the compiler will do is that if the compiler check this condition here and see that the condition here is false it will it will skip this this body of code here and then execute the one that is inside there because we say that else we are just giving it kind of another option we are kind of we are kind of giving the compiler another option if this thing is true execute the code inside it else if it is false execute this one so that is the work of if if uh, if a statement so let me save it and compile it so you see the difference so go to our sketch export it so let me wait till the 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 let me wait till it's done compiling then we'll check what is going on in our simulator so wait let's wait for a minute let's wait let's wait let's wait let's wait this is taking too long to compile taking too long to compile it's taking too long to compile so so it's done compiling let's go to our simulator I'll go to our simulator then import the file the hash file this is the hash file i import it then simulate it as you can see you see that the monitor is showing force you see it is printing force 
because the condition we gave in the if if statement is false that's why it's printing false so that is it for the if a statement so i hope you understand this if a statement the condition that we gave here is not true so the the only time the code inside this body of if statement get executed is when the condition inside this bracket is true that's when it will execute the code here but if it is not true it will go to the second option that it, it gives to us which is the s s statement so since the here is is not true the another option it has to uh, uh, work with is the one that is in this s statement so now that you have know how if the uh, if s statement works let's talk about if s if statement what do i mean by if s if statement since we gave it the first condition this is the first condition that we gave it then we want to give it a second condition that is if s if statement so if this condition is false check the second condition we are giving if the, the second condition is also false it will skip it but if the second con if the first condition is false and the second condition is true it will execute the code inside it so let's do let me write some code so that i will show you how it works so this is the if s if statement so look at it here this is how it looks like so this is the first condition and this is the second condition so if this first condition is false it will skip this code then and also check the second condition the second if statement under this s that is why we call it if s if statement the second condition so if this condition is true it will execute what is inside there but if it is false it will also it will skip uh, this process so let's check what will happen so we know that this first condition is false because a is not greater than b because 10 is not greater than 20 so this condition here is false that means it will skip here then it will also check this condition and which is true because c which is 30 is greater than a which is 10 so it will check this condition and print this condition so let's go to our simulator and see it and see it so i have to import the hash file so let me import the hash file i've updated the hash file so then i will simulate it and see what is going on so we should get an a through you see it look at the monitor it is printing through because the second condition is true right so that is that is how to use if as if statement so thank you for watching this video let our in our next video we'll discuss the other conditional statements